It's Susie Homemaker. Um, a couple disclaimers. My hair is not greasy, it's just wet. I just got out of the shower. Um, but I don't blow dry my hair, I just towel dry it. Um, so that's why it looks wet. And you might see me wearing the same outfit in a few videos because I don't know if you saw any of the other ones, but I'm on break and I just wanted to get some of these videos um, out. So this video is about a thrift shop haul. And it's actually from a couple different stores over a couple different weeks, but there's only one or two items I got at each one. And so I didn't want one video for just one item. So here it is it all combined. I'll kind of do it chronologically. So the two stores I went to were Salvation or Main Goodwill. They're some of the bigger stores in my area. And I find a lot of my stuff at Salvation Army because they tend to have half off sales. And so it's even cheaper for me to get stuff there. The first thing I got, I was looking for it for a very long time and I kept looking at it at thrift stores because they didn't want to buy it new online or in the store because I couldn't find one exactly what I was looking for and it was really expensive. It was like $20 for the ones I was looking at. But it is a teapot. And I really love this teapot. I don't see this design very often. I have a kettle that I warm water in, but I wanted something where I can make a big pot of tea to share with my husband or guests, um, or if it's just a cold day. And I have this beautiful tea cozy I got in Ireland, uh, and I was looking for a teapot to use it on. So this originally at the store was $3.60. They are $3.80, and they had it half off, so it was only $1.80 for this beautiful teapot, and I love all of the designs on it. So I only got that that day. It was just unexpected. I was making a donation or something, and I walked in and browsed, and you just find the most amazing things when you do that. The second shop I did was also at Salvation Army. It was right after Christmas, and we're kind of going more minimalist, more zero waste, and we're going through our house and just getting rid of a ton of stuff. So I got a few things there. The first thing I got, I am really in love with it. It's this Tivana Tivania um, tea tin. And I think they're pretty expensive in the store, but I have a lot of loose leaf tea and I make a lot of my own like mint tea or rose hips. I buy bulk tea at the store. And so I was really happy to find this because I just loved the pattern on it. And it was marked $1.50 and I got it for $0.75. Cents. And it already has tea in it. Um, it's actually the Tivania Peach Tea. It's herbal tea. It smells amazing. And I was lucky enough that my mom got me some loose leaf tea for Christmas. And the second thing I got while I was there... Um, is this to-go container. If you saw some of my other videos, then you know that I keep to-go containers in my car uh, for when I have leftovers, things like that. This pops open into three compartments. And I knew these were pretty expensive for my budget. They were like $10, $15. If it looks a little weird, I put it in the dishwasher and it didn't rinse it 100%, but it's still good. Um, this was marked for $2.50, I want to say. And I had been looking at it in the store at, as I go to grocery outlet for my dairy and eggs, and they were like $15, $20. I didn't want to pay that. I found this one. It's missing the silverware, but that doesn't bother me because I have my own silverware. It's not a big deal. This is also marked off half, so it was like $1.25 for it. I know for the T10 and this, I only paid like $2.05. It was really, really low. I was really happy about it. Um, and the next trip was at Goodwill. I was at the farmer's market the other day, and I was like, oh, I'll just go into Goodwill. Not a big deal. Walk around. It was pretty crazy. I'm trying to put the lid on, and I realized I had it. 
It doesn't fit if you don't put it on right. Um, we had a whisk that was deteriorating, it was rusting, and I was looking for a replacement, but I didn't want to pay ten, twenty, thirty dollars um at some store for a brand new one. I was lucky enough to find this one and it was two dollars. It was really inexpensive and it's a really good size whisk and sell stainless steel. So I have that. And then I have been looking for these jars for quite some time. If you saw my zero waste video, you will have already seen them, but they're these reusable jars. Blood just fell in. Um, there, I can't read the brand right now. But these are at the Goodwill store. They have the gaskets that just snap on. And I've been really looking into gasket canning because I do my own canning for some dry goods, for wet goods, and the gaskets you can reuse several times if you're very careful with them. And so I wouldn't have to buy a bunch of metal lids. And so I was really interested in that. These jars, I've seen them at Whole Foods, I've seen them at Williams Sonoma, some of the bigger stores. This jar is usually $20 or more, I want to say, from what I've seen. And I found two of these. One of, I didn't bring both of them because I didn't think I needed both of them. And this one was $4.19. It's Dawes Attack on it because I haven't washed it yet. And the other one was like $3.90, which was a steal. Um, so of course I bought both of them. And one of them even came with a spare gasket. Two, I bought three of those jars, two one size and one different size, and they even had extra gaskets in them. So I was really excited. The other one is the small one, it is $2.50. I think I ended up spending about $14 for all of it together. And this one already has homemade granola in it. Um, I'm going to make another video about my Christmas gifts. One of my gifts was homemade granola. And I made two quart size, or like a quart and a pint, I forget. I filled them both up, and I still had a little bit extra. So my husband really likes granola, and I just saved it from in this truck where already has it used. The last thing I got was this little mason jar. Normally I don't buy mason jars at the thrift store, and it's for the simple fact that I do a lot of canning, and a lot of the jars I find are pretty steadily priced at like $1.09. I don't know why they're priced at $1.09, it's really arbitrary price, but even these small jars and the big jars are priced that way. If I was going to buy like a quart size jar for $1.09, that would be a steal, but I don't pay more than a dollar for mason jars. This particular one I wanted to get because my mother-in-law likes her jellies and her jams and these size jars for her own personal use, so whenever she's making a large batch, she can fill up her jars. She knows they're hers, she won't give them away because she loves these particular ones. So I really wanted to get her this. Um, they're not the easiest ones to find because they're patterned. They have like little cherries and grapes and everything on them. They're really, really cute. Uh, I walked it up to the cash register and I asked the cashier, how much is this jar? It doesn't have a, a sticker on it. She says, well, I can give it to you for $1.09 because that's how much mason jars are. And I sat there and I was like, well, I think I'm going to put it back. I don't, I don't pay more than a dollar for it. And so she countered me and said she'd give it to me for 83 cents. And I was like, yes, I'm going to get this jar for 83 cents because that was a great deal. And so I was super excited to find this jar for 83 cents. And I'm really excited to give it to my mother-in-law in a couple weeks, um, right before kind of her winter canning. So those are my thrift store finds. Um, I think I didn't even spend $20 and I got a lot of really high quality, I feel goods. I've already used my teapot and just about everything there. I hope you found this video helpful or you enjoyed looking at what I like to get at the thrift store. Uh, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos, or leave me a comment what you would also like to see. What am I going to put inside the other two jars? Um, or how do I make my own loose leaf tea or how do I make different tea combinations for what I need to do.
So uh, I'll also leave a link down to my blog, which has some recipes, DIY projects, things like that. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day.